Ramsey? Tessa. I'm scared and I... and I need help. My dad died. They say it was one thing, you say it wasn't. The patches were to stick on his chest, not to the bumpers of his car. That I do remember. Was Exton's death accidental? Or was it murder? Cocaine? Yes. Are you sure? How? How can you be sure? Isabel confirmed it. Why? It's a habit he acquired in the States. But he wasn't a junkie. He was too vital. He was too busy. I watched a couple of videos that Izzy had. Her parents are not party political. Two interviews. It even got into his voice. He was more nasal than it used to be. He had a lot of colds recently. Tess, don't play straight man with me. What do you mean? Well, you've been around. You're not a complete innocent about drugs. Eventually, someone would have spotted it. Why now? Why not before or later? Oh, I'm not sure. Either the dose was so strong it blew his heart. Or? or else he was poisoned. Our drugs get mixed with lots of dubious adulterants. What a post-mortem help. Probably. If, for example, it was mixed with strychnine. Could it? Well, it has been now. It's a colorless crystalline powder. Then it would show, yes. The symptoms are not unlike those you describe. There won't be a post-mortem. True. Could we get the funeral stopped? Well, you think the government would admit that one of its favorite sons was a cocaine addict? I'll put it another way. How would you feel? No. In 36 hours, his body goes into the crematorium, and that's the end of it. In position for surveillance. Yes, sir. Uh, you can do something for me. No, not that. Yeah. Yellow pages. What about them? I'd like to see them. That it? That's it. <laughs> I'm easily satisfied. Ah, they used to be around here somewhere. Or maybe it's something I can help you with. Oh, I doubt it. All right, try me. Well, I want a list of the doctors who practice in central London. Are they in the yellow pages? Under physicians and surgeons. Well, it isn't this year's. No, I believe you. Alexander Graham Bell, own personal copy. Looking up your mates? Yeah, seeing if any of them are still alive. I'll bring it back. You do know, Doctor, you're being followed. True. Every time you take off, every time you come back. Who oh, is it? Oh, Bill. I'll do. Please. Not local bacon. I know all of them. Thanks for telling me. Oh, P.F., the other night you mentioned something about uh, bad drugs, remember? Me? Yeah, you. Not me, Doc. Oh, come on. It was in your sales blurb, your list of what was on offer. What time was it? Well, is that relevant? Well, after eight, my blood starts to get cold. I top up with antifreeze. It affects my speech. Well, and your memory. That's right.
E so on. I hope she'll like it. I'm sure she will. Thank you for taking so much trouble. Not at all. Bye. Tessa, I didn't realize no, you, you were fetching the string. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Mm. How are you? How do I look? Rough. That's how I feel. I don't know how long one can go on saying it. Is it all right if we go upstairs? I'll make you a cup of tea, just like the door. I'd like to start with a text from Romans 8. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, etc. Should be a reaffirmation, if you like, of man's abiding faith. Good. Three hymns, as usual. You don't think I might hire just a soup song? Did he have a particular favourite? Favourite? Him. I don't understand. A favourite hymn? Blake's Jerusalem, Bunyan's Pilgrim, perhaps Sir Wesley? Not that I remember. Then I'd suggest Crimond. Is that straight? Doesn't look it. Crimond. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. I like that, yes, it's nice. And it leads easily into, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, yes? By all means. And that's followed by the reading. I'd suggest 1 Corinthians, chapter 13. Lovely. Then the hymn, through all the changing scenes of life, mm. it's a sort of testament to the mutability of man, the frailty of mankind, the strength of God. And then we come to the address, which we discussed. Did we? The other evening. Of course. Followed by prayers, and a final hymn, God Moves in a Mysterious Way. Mm. Dr. Fawn sent me to fetch Kate Ross. Oh, we needed the bed. Um, she's down the corridor, sitting outside sister's office. Oh, thank you. Kate. Lovely time. Well, is this everything? It was sort of unexpected. Yeah, I heard. Next time, I'll have a suitcase packed like a pregnant mother. Well, if I were you, You're I'm... not. You're the navigator, okay? How do you feel? Empty. Next left. Oh, this one? Next left. I don't like ODs. Well, no, I understand that. Yeah, you would. Finished with me yet. You're some sort of social worker. Well, not quite. Come on. No wonder they didn't give me a mirror. Best high of my whole life. Out of my skull and I miss it. Zapped out on the carpet. Who called the ambulance? Oh, you just call. Drove me around there, dumped me on the steps. Then left. Yeah, thank God. Came back, cleaned up. By the time the filth arrived, it was kosher. Who was he? I don't know. Never seen him before in my life. Just a guy to blow two people. Well, would you see him again? Maybe. Maybe not. What are you, his keeper? It's all so casual. You have no idea what sort of poison you're shoving into your system. You reckon it was hot shot blow? Don't you care? It's only a matter of life and death. Don't drink so fast. No, why not? You'll get there too soon. 
I've never seen you in a suit before. Yeah, it is a rare sight. You must have buried the odd patient. In my experience, the odd ones linger on. A solicitor's phone call to the bereaving family. Is that how it's done? Yeah, usually. I've, uh, <clears throat> I have a date to see Exton's doctor. Well, he won't admit anything. We have to start somewhere. They'd need a second signature on the certificate. Where's that? For the cremation. Well, don't forget the detective. What detective? That's own. Special branch. He was in the kitchen having supper. So it would be him who alerted the establishment. Called to the cabinet secretary. How do you know? It's what he's for. A sort of cross between an eminence grease and a fine leg. He knows everything that goes on. The dirt, the rumours. He sees them and he tells them. Tells them what? There are certain practices which are acceptable in opposition but not in government. I suggest you desist. Is, is it a, a political appointment? No, I think he's a civil servant. Uh, do you know of any particular friend of Exton's who lives in the, in the Chelsea, Kings Road area? Well, there must be dozens of them. Not that I can think of any offhand. The last entry in his diary says SW3. Doesn't say where or who. Go forth upon thy journey from this world, O Christian soul, in the name of God the Father Almighty, who created thee, in the name of Jesus Christ, who suffered for thee, in the name of the Holy Spirit, who strengthened thee, in communion with the blessed saints, and aided by angels and archangels, and all the armies of the heavenly host. May thy portion this day be in peace, and thy dwelling in the heavenly Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. Sorry about that. Sounds like you have a fair workload. Uh, a lot of running these days to stand still. Well, you appear to stand still with a, a certain style. One tries. Thanks. Now, what have you in mind? Full medical, x-rays, scans, cardiograph, etc. I thought so. I'm, I'm taking out a couple of insurance policies. I, I'd like to know where I am. You smoke? No. Never? Well, a couple of cork tips behind the cricket pavilion. Kirk in 1955. Inhaled? I don't remember. <laughs> You're not overweight? Exercise? I swim a bit. Sail. Fine. So, let's make a date. Why not? Next week? It's fine. Any particular time? Whatever suits you. Wednesday at three. That's great. I'll give you a card. Should you have to cancel, I'd appreciate 48 hours notice. We had a, a mutual friend. Really? Exton Waite. Oh, sad. Cut is the branch that might have grown full straight. Were you at the funeral? Yes. I thought I'd seen you before. 
Considering he had angina... I make it a policy never to discuss other patients. Well, not even dead ones. Live or dead. Sorry to sound stuffed shirt, but it's unethical. Well, shouldn't his workload have been reduced? Well, of course it should. It was madness, absolute madness. He was still playing golf. Mr. Ramsey, you've got to realize one thing. These people, the ultra-achievers, they're not like the rest of us. Oh, yes, they appreciate that the candle has two ends, but they think they're both for burning. They're crazy. They have a death wish. I tell them so. Canute stood more chance with the waves. Beryl thought the glycerol trinitrate tablets were for swallowing. <laughs> it's amazing she didn't think they were for planting in the garden. Did you know he was taking cocaine? How are you? I wouldn't make accusations like that. Well, to sign the certificate, you need to have seen the patient within two weeks. I had. Really? Yes. Convenient. Tuesday the 9th, 4.30. And you found it so easily. Mr. Ramsey, you're wasting my time. A patient sick enough to be given transdermal patches plus glycerol trinitrate tablets, and yet you allow him to submit himself to the pressures of being a cabinet minister and for relaxation to play 18 holes of golf. I take it, whoever you are, you won't need the medical. In Wade's diary, there are two names, dexamethasone and tofenadine. As you know, they're anti-inflammatory drugs to reduce the swelling of the nasal passages to allow the voice to sound normal. Was it you who recommended them? No comment. I take it you'd be happy to argue this out in front of a disciplinary committee. Nothing more to say. Nurse, show Mr. Ramsey out. As I see it, there are two ways of doing this. Let's choose the less hurtful. May I? We could go upstairs. I'd rather not. Fair enough. Would it horrify you if I smoked? Not at all. Forty-three. Forty-two. So, you were thirty-two. Ten years, that's a long time. It didn't seem like it. Let's hope you'll always think so. One wet Tuesday, I sat across there in my car watching you. He told me. Had it been Italy or France, I suppose I'd have come in. We'd have talked it through, arranged something. Look, I can't believe you've come to chat. All right. I'm here to collect my things. Things? What things? Books, clothes, possessions. You mean Exton's? What was his is mine. They're not yours. Check with your solicitor, my dear. A lot of those things I bought. Shirts, cardigan, pajamas. Jim Jams, how touching. So long as you gave them to him, they're mine. You feel that vindictive? And more so. Half of my life, what am I saying, more than half was invested in that marriage. Invested? Have you been married, Isabel? You know I haven't. There's more to it than a dozen red roses, and was it good for you, too? You think that 20 years of constituency business, the committee work, all that was truth and beauty? Those three years at QMC, what was that? A way of keeping a menopausal lady off the streets? An alternative to shoplifting? Do you think Marx gave me a grant? We fought for his political career, both of us, long and hard. I wasn't going to sit back and let him toss it away. Do you think after all that slog, hours and hours of infinite boredom, to quote Nye Bevan, that I was prepared to switch off, let someone else walk away with the glory? 
Those things are mine. They stay mine. My lawyer will eat your lawyer. Not closing, are you? I was about to, yes. Uh, oh, I, I just wondered, could I possibly look at the uh, candlesticks there? Oh, couldn't it wait? I'm only here for the day. You'd better come in. That's most kind. Thank you so much. A lot of people would say they were mice. They're not, of course. There's Itzendorf. My wife gave me the pair. Quite similar. But a wedding anniversary. Do you still have him? I'm afraid not. I was burgled four years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is exquisite. Lovely. Quite lovely. How they eat them in France? Yeah. Don't bother with the hour and the months, any of that. No, I don't think it's necessary. Would you, uh... Oh, no, thanks. I was wondering when you'd introduce yourself. D.I. Brooks, Drug Squad. How long have your lot been watching me? My lot? Well, a couple in the car outside my hotel, etc. Don't do it with me. I picked you up at the hospital. Why? Junkie, just OD'd, gets herself collected by a doctor. This sort of thing intrigues me, makes me curious. Not suspicious. Curious first, suspicious comes later. Do you want me to explain? Nicer than some smoky office. Is that a threat? An ex patient friend of mine died recently. Whether it was cocaine or related to it, I'm not sure. Hence my interest in Kate. She told you ten times what she told the local factory. You won't have heard much. Mm. Can I ask you something? I'll ask. Have there been a spate of cocaine-related deaths recently? There was a constant stream of ODs, mainly heroin. What had you in mind? Uh, something like an influx of maverick cocaine. Would you know? Not that easy. Why? Well, some users inject. It means mixing it with water. Mm. Others free base. That's taking out the impurity, smoking pure coke. Others cut it again themselves. No, I see what you mean. I, uh... I intend calling on Kate again. Unless you object. How long have you been away? Nine years. Old new ball game, isn't it? Apparently. Long time since Dr. Petra used to prescribe at the station buffet at Baker Street Underground. In the late 60s, I was a houseman. Mr. Blompton, was it William Dampier, Captain James Cook, Dr. Ramsey? Leaders, who was 11. the first Englishman to land Floor? in Australia? Second. Bank Thanks. Pony, James Cook. <laughs> Why, 
so surprised? Who do you expect to see? But you're not ill. Ill? Should I be? Come in. What's going on? Well, you tell me. I had this call. A little over an hour ago. Man or woman? A man. He said you were sick and that you'd given him my number. What sort of sick? Did he say? Malaria. Said it had flared up again. What the hell knows I've had malaria. And could I get here as soon as possible? Notes. Bastard. Even his cassettes. Well, now I know why. And who? Beryl. How do you know? I told you she came around earlier. Well, it was to collect his things, and I wouldn't let her. Then there was no sign of a break-in down there. Anyway, there's an alarm. I'll call the police. No. Why not? No, it's a waste of time. Ramsey, I want those things back. I need them. They're all I have. I'll go and see Beryl. When? No. I don't feel safe. Oh, come on. You're all right. Good evening, sir. Evening. A friend of the family? Yes. Name? Ramsey, Dr. Ramsey. You uh, expected? Not exactly. Call up to the house, George. Name of Ramsey. Pleasant evening, sir. Tell Mrs. Waits you're here. Sorry, I was going to bed. Thank you for coming to the funeral. Oh, you don't need to thank me. Brandy? Mm -mm. Sit down. Is a woman out for you? Or... No, I'm fine. Beryl, aren't you being bloody minded towards Isabel? It isn't as though you didn't know. Bloody minded me? I have been accused of something. You can afford something. to be generous. My generosity ran out. But none of this is her fault. Is it mine? Well, some of it. Yes. What the hell are you playing at, Ramsay? What's your game? Game? Your visit to Wim Bennett, the fact that you're still nosing around asking questions. What's going on? Exxon was taking drugs, cocaine. Rubbish. He died of a hit that went wrong. He died of a coronary. I want to know if it was an accident or deliberate. Now, if it was deliberate, you and your friends are concealing a murder. How do you propose proving it? Well, I can't. You know that. Two doctors, distinguished ones, said he died of a coronary. A myocardial infarction. Oh, your medical terminology is working better this week. I warn you, I am not letting Exton's reputation be sullied. 
If you think he's going down in a blaze of scandal as the first junkie cabinet minister, think again. OK. Let's make a deal. I'll stop asking questions. You let Isabel have her things back. Her things? But you know what I mean. It's not a lot to ask. They're invaluable to her. The pressed flowers of a great love match. Well, you don't want them. My advisors told me to acquire them. Tell them different. When I have time, I'll sort through, see if there's something I can find, some trinket. It's not what I'm asking. It's what I'm offering. It's not enough. And I'm saying no. I repeat the warning I gave her. You're making enemies of the wrong people. Is that a threat? The 25th of next month is his memorial service. Nothing must be done to disturb that or devalue it. People still talk of what the socialists might have achieved had Gateskill lived. In 20 years' time, I want them talking about Exton Wait. Funny meets in my time, but it's the first for a church. Well, each time I'm in London, I check that it's still here. Is it that important? You don't think so? Take it or leave it. It's built by Wren. Gutted in the Blitz, rebuilt. Produced three archbishops of Canterbury. Blake was baptized here, and the Marquis of Queensbury buried. Not a bad record. What about my dream? Well, you find me a pub without music, space invaders, video games. I got the message. So what do you say your friend died of? Respiratory failure with cardiovascular collapse. Induced by cocaine. Or the mixture of cocaine and the... Cut. What he's mixed with is a cut. That would need to be something like speed, some amphetamine. Usually it's manites or... What's that? Manite. Italian laxative. If it was that, or dextrose, or borax, they're all common cuts. It would reduce the rush, not increase it. Not true. You come across a quack named Wakely. Oh, yes. Jimmy Wakely. Pink Jim. I know him. I know of him. He works for five and six. Five and six what? You are innocent, aren't you? MI5 and MI6. How do you mean works for them? They've got a list of tame medicos. The bloke falls off the top of the Hilton, breaks every bone in his body. He'll swear it was a cough that killed him. You are exaggerating, aren't you? Not a lot. Was he the second signature on the death of He was. Then you're in business, friend. Or rather, you're not. No music. I know it's wrong, but if a company director or the lead guitarist in some pop group wants to explode his nostrils, he deserves everything that's coming to him. Heroin is physiological, cocaine only psychological. Not true. Close enough. No, no. enlargement of the heart, hypertension, the respiratory problems, paranoid psychosis, they're not psychological. They're too technical for me. And I warn you, I don't think so well with an empty glass. <laughs> Another double. Why not? And don't forget, this is off the record. We never even met. You should have told me your friend was excellent, White. Photos too, huh? Mm-hmm. Listen, I'll find you one. Did you know what Exton was doing? You did, didn't you? Couldn't you have... You can't blame yourself. Does it smell good? Yeah, it does. How do I look? Oh, good. Very nice. 
Not your stuffy Ramsay. I want to hear words like fabulous, stupendous. Tell me honestly now, when was the last time you told someone they looked stupendous? A long time ago. Shall I take the knife and fork through? Yeah, please. How long? How long have I been doing it? You do drugs. So I'm told. 18 months, give or take. Describe it. A coke jag? Yeah. It's the best buzz on God's earth. No argument. It's the warmest, most soothing. It's just the greatest. It's the best, highest high there is. When people say it's like God kissing you, it's the only way to get off. I mean, people save all year. Fly somewhere like Bali, lie in the sun, listen to the surf, watch the kites flying over the palm trees. Line it to a Charlie, and you can do that any night of the year. So it uh, gives you a lift? Yes, sir. -y. Soon you'll find it difficult to come down, so you'll take something to help. Ludes, I've tried them. They're okay. Next, you won't be able to sleep. Sleepers. More drugs. And after a time, they won't work either. Well, now your problems are starting. Apart from this, your nose is going. Your reactions, too. Your liver starts to play up. Anxiety, paranoia, nausea. Well, you're a real tonic. I mean, let's do this more often. Do you know how long a doper lives? Now, look at me, Kate. From first puff to last pop, on average, 12. 12 years. Bullshit. It's true. So if your luck holds out and you don't get busted, you have 10 to go. How old are you? 22. Finished. Burned out at 32. Your name on a headstone. You really want that? Do you think I'm attractive, Ramsey? Very. Do you fancy doing anything about it? Is that a proposition? It's the best offer you'll get tonight. I'm old enough to be your father. So? It's a little incest between friends. I'm a doctor. You're my patient. Don't be ethical. Crap. Look, I didn't come here to make love to you. Make love? People screw these days. So why did you come? I want something. You should ask me in bed. I'm more generous then. Yeah, and tomorrow you'd wonder. Jesus. Scruples. I've never met anybody with scruples before. So what is it you want? Some of that cocaine. To get it analysed. I've told you. I don't have any. Really. OK, the name of a dealer. Oh, great. He gets nicked and I've lost my connection. He can't do much to me from the scrubs. Look, I'm not a cop. I'm not busting him. I just want some of that hotshot cocaine. Why? Because it killed someone. A friend of mine. Really? And you think we have the same supplier? I'm OK. You've been nice to me. Why should I trust you? Why shouldn't you? How can I backfire on you? I've told you. Whoever he is, I hate him. I hate everything he stands for. But he won't get his comeuppance from me. I promise. There's a wine bar. Bacchus's. We passed it, remember? Mm. He's usually in there between seven and nine. His name, would you believe it? Charlie. I haven't seen him, man. Saint Mermia. What do you reckon? It's all right. Come on yourself. Thank you, aren't you? Only thing is, it's, uh, it's claret, not burgundy. One thing I can't stand is a wine buff. Well, you, you were telling me about Charlie. Haven't seen him, mate. Eh? Well, you haven't looked. I didn't need. I got a memory of faces.
Um, I don't know if it's, it's me, it's Charlie. I've, um, can you let me in? I've lost my key. How did you get it? It's best you don't know. What sort of an answer is that? It's an honest answer. How much is in here? A gram. It's about three quarters of a teaspoon. Cost? I have no idea. Tell her. Tell me what? The guy who had it's dead. Is that true? I broke into his flat. Broke in? Yeah. You don't mean literally broke in. I kicked the door and is that literal enough? Oh, my God. My reaction's exactly. I'm sorry. Dead. Oh, deed. Lying in the bath. So you think that he, whoever he it was, got this from the same place that Exton? Well, we have no way of knowing. That's a hell of a coincidence. I agree. What are you going to do now? I've analyzed. No one will know. Morning, Doc. Morning. Oh, anything for me? <laughs> no. Everybody loves you. What about my tail? They still love me. Yeah, all present and correct. They're persistent, aren't they? Yeah, what have you done to get them so keen? No idea. Could be special branch. Unless you say that. Well, I told you. They're not local. Is there another way out of here? There's a kitchen. Want me to show you? Yeah. Oh, it smells damp. Always does. 
Egon Roney came down here, you could lose one of your stars. Egon where? Doesn't matter. Happy New Year. What's that? Late for this year or early for next? Yeah. Yeah. Through here. Mm -hmm. There's a gate round the side. Thanks. Kate Ross, is she, uh... She... She was my daughter. Was? I've just come from the mortuary. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And who are you? My name's Ramsey. I'm a doctor. And I was her father. There's nothing either of us can do for her now. 